Welcome to my chess lecture on the chess tactic of superior force. What is superior force? Well, superior force is basically where the number of attackers is greater than the number of defenders. Let me just cover this portion first. Basically, what you're doing is um, you're, you, you're attacking with more people, so you're coming in with more force. And here's an example. Let's take, for example, this black pawn. How many times is it attacked by a black piece? Well, it's attacked once and twice. And it's only defended once. That means white can win this black pawn. Okay? So what would happen? That's what would happen. And actually, let's give me a check to the enemy king. Um, now, now notice black does not want to capture this this bishop because white would just capture back and even even lose more chess pieces, or would actually sort of exchange pieces, but it would actually uh, lose the exchange. And what I mean by losing the exchange is that black's rook is more valuable than the knight. I mean, then the bishop, I'm sorry, because the rook is worth five points and the bishop is worth three points. So if black were to capture this bishop, white would capture back. And uh, white would get the rook for the bishop. So we'd get five points. White would get five points and black would only get three. And that's not a good thing. It's called losing the exchange. So white can actually win this black pawn because it has two attackers and black only has one defender. Let me show you another example. Okay, here's my next example. And the example here is on the black knight. So how many attackers are uh, attacking this knight? Well, the rook is attacking the knight, the bishop is attacking the knight, and actually the queen is attacking the knight. Because what would happen is, is that if if white were to move its piece and capture, you know the queen could actually then follow up and and move to the square. The queen can actually cannot move to the square first. It could move there after the bishop captured, and that's sort of what you're looking for. Is that how many you know? This is sort of like a you can sort of consider it like a you know a, a hit you know and then a hit hit. So how many pieces could uh, attack that square or come to capture on that square um, eventually and the queen, the queen could capture on that square but only after the bishop has captured on that square but it's still considered as an attacker on that square and how many times is it defended well only twice by the queen and by the bishop so that means that the white can actually win this bishop so let me show you that. So capture with the bishop. Okay. Now let's say you know. Now from Black's point of view, let's say one can it win the bishop? The answer is no, because it's attacking the bishop twice. But White is defending it twice. Okay so it cannot actually win the bishop. So what would happen if it decided to? Well, um, that would happen, and that would happen. And notice that it did not win the bishop. Notice how the bishops were actually just changed, exchanged off. Each, each opponent, each white and black had a bishop, and then black captured, and white captured. And now there's no, now there's no more um, the bishops. Actually, it's probably more properly the capture with the queen in this circumstance. Okay? So let me move on, or let's move on to the second portion of superior force where it says you must also consider the value of the pieces and the order of capture. Let me go over two more brief examples. Okay, let's say it was Black's turn in our point of interest is this white pawn here. Well, how many times is this white pawn attacked by black? It's attacked three times by the knight, the queen, and the bishop. And it's defended twice. 
by the pawn and by the queen. We're saying, well, well, great, I can win. I can win this pawn. Okay, but not really. Black is not going to come out on on the on the good side. Meaning, when I mean the good side, meaning the point of chess tactics is to win points, win chess pieces, but to win chess pieces in a, in a greater value than what you had. So you're what you're giving. You're you're winning something, meaning you're gaining something. You don't want to be losing something. You can actually win more chessmen, but you the quality of the chessmen, meaning the point values, because pawns are only worth one, and knights are worth three, and queens are worth nine. So what would happen? You know what happens if uh, black was the capture of this pawn? Okay, you can win the pawn because we know three attackers versus two defenders. Okay, now you say, well, it won the pawn. Well, let's say if white decides to capture back. Now, just uh, the can you tell you this example? And notice how black still has, you know, two attackers, and and um, there's only one defender, which means white can win this or black can win this pawn. So like, let's say does it? Let's say the queen moves away, something like this. Technically threatening checkmate here. Just to let you know. So, but uh, going back to the exchange, just want to point out that uh, well, let's back up and see what the quality of the pieces were. Well, you know, uh, white or black gave up this piece and only gained these two pieces. That means black gave up uh, a knight worth three points and only gained two white's pawns for a point each. Now technically it won more men, but the quality of the pieces, meaning the point values, is not is actually one point less. So I actually didn't come out ahead. This is not a good idea. So here let me move on to my last example. Okay, here it's white's turn to move and let's just briefly talk about you know this piece here. Well White only attacks it once, but black defends it twice, so the queen cannot win this piece. Just for an example. But my real interest is this piece right here. Now it's defend or it's attacked. Let's say let's start with the defenders. It's defended twice by the rook and by the knight, and it's attacked three times by the queen. And then after the queen attacks, if it was recaptured, it'd be captured by this rook, and then if another piece captures, since it's defended twice, um, white could come and get it with this rook. So all three, the queen and these two rooks, are actually attacking this piece. So white can technically win a piece, but now we come down to the quality of pieces and the order of of the of the taking, so or the taking of the pieces. So what would happen if this played out? Now I just want to point out that on the material count, um, white is actually only up by a pawn. Okay, now not a physical pawn, but actually what black has, it actually has these two pieces for one of white's rooks. So these are worth six, and this is worth five. So technically black is up a point. But what happens if we decide to go through with all this capture sequence? Well, let's say the queen captures. And let's say the knight captures. Usually you try to capture with your least valuable piece first. Just sort of a roll of thumb. It doesn't always work, but you try to capture with your least valuable piece first. I do want to say that actually black does have a mating attack, but we're just ignoring that for now. Then black captures. Then white captures, then black captures, then white captures. Now, what happened to the point count? Notice that the the pawns and the king are equal, and now we just have the difference between a queen and a knight. I mean, and a rook. This is worth nine. This is worth five. So now black is actually up. How much? Five. I mean four, I'm sorry. So actually black went from being up one to being up four. So actually while white won a piece, 
it actually got behind on the point count so this is not a good idea once again showing the quality of pieces maybe not exactly the order but showing the quality and a little bit of the order so that's my lecture on superior force unfortunately there aren't too many books that actually have superior force um, chess puzzles but it's a very common tactic you know you can win the piece going back to this you can win material if the number of attackers is greater than the number of defenders but you also have to look at the value of the pieces and the order of the capture